Today I want to do an experiment. Can I get the same results of cooking a whole chicken on my pit barrel junior using the poultry hanger on my solo stove Yukon? It's perfect fire pit weather and I thought let's put this to the test. Can I get that same convection uh, cooking idea going in the solo stove by hanging the chicken and so we're going to do a few different things uh, to kind of jerry rig this solo stove so that i can hang it and put it to the test so stick around and watch this whole video so you can see the results as we go on this journey together well as we prepare the bird this is about a three to four and a half pound bird and what we're going to do is to maximize tenderness I'm going to do a wet brine. If you've watched any of my videos before, I love pickle brining. So we're gonna get a huge gallon bag, put the bird in, fill it up with uh, the pickle juice you can get at your grocery store. We're gonna let it marinate for about an hour and then bring it out, pat it dry. And today I'm using hardcore carnivore red. It's one of my favorite seasonings whenever I don't make my own. And we'll cover this in hardcore carnivore red. It'll give it a nice, uh, great look, but also a fantastic taste. Then we'll use that poultry hanger and slide that in and put that aside, take you out to the solo stove and begin to prepare the grill. Well, we're firing up the solo stove. Here's our agenda. We're borrowing two rebars from the pit barrel and the poultry hanger, put those on the solo stove uh, grill hub that you buy as an additional accessory that you usually put cast iron on. No cast iron on this cook, uh, although I might season one of mine while we're going. And then we're gonna offset the kiln dried firewood on one side using the uh, grill blazer torch. And what I like to do is I like to use that to light charcoal and firewood uh, in literally 60 seconds. You can use the code on the screen for 10% off using Bartlow. Uh, and it's simple, it's an amazing tool. I use it in all my grills and fire pits. And so that's what we did to light this up. We offset it to one side, let it burn for one hour and then get to a white a hot bed of coal, then we'll place the chicken on. So see you back in an hour, but it'll be just like that for you. All right, friends, so we uh, have been cooking this chicken for about 30 minutes on the solo stove. And what I had to do to keep an eye on it as just a quick tip if you're doing ever trying to experiment with this on the solo stove is you're gonna stay on it. So I was constantly twisting and turning it um, on all sides so that it wouldn't it would burn more evenly and not get too dark on one side. So that's a quick tip. Now we've hit 165 to 170 ish in some parts barbecue sauce with some cosmos q uh, apple chipotle now i'm going to let it uh, put it back on the solo uh, now that the ash is pretty much down to its very uh, final portion and we'll let it cook until we get to that 180. here we go we have finished this bird and this thing is i can already tell tender juicy barbecue uh, crisp all in one my hands are dirty uh, but we're just going to Go right into the breast bone here, get a slice so you can see it. There we go. All right, my friends, a little taste test right here. Here we go. Oh. Oh man, that brine, I can just taste the, the, the pickle brine process and just kind of made it so tender on the inside. And then that chipotle, apple chipotle from Cosmos. Mm. Completely hit the spot. 
All right, man, that was delicious. And as you can see, we had some great flavor uh, from that pickle briny process, hardcore carnivore red and that Cosmos Q apple chipotle sauce, put it over the top with a nice bite, a little spicy bite at the very end, and I really enjoyed it. But a few lessons learned, being my very first time to cook a whole chicken on the Solo stove specifically, over a live fire like that. Uh, a few things, I would have allowed the wood um, to go down even more to uh, just a charcoal bed and even just even further down just where it's barely the embers uh, to see if that would even help produce more even cooking. But one of the things that I thought was positive is turning uh, the poultry uh, hook and hang uh, every 15 minutes to rotate so it's getting even cooking. That's a lesson that I thought was uh, really valuable uh, and really served me well in this cook. But I think letting it get down to just almost ashes even more than I did. I think that would have helped uh, if I do this again. Uh, I would have cooked it just a little bit longer to continue to get uh, a portion of not just the legs and stuff, the dark meat, uh, you know, at a higher temperature and the breast and the white meat in a different temperature. I would have cooked it just a little bit longer, but overall, I thought it was a successful cook and very tender and tasty and really just a fun experiment uh, cooking over uh, the Solo Stove. Now, you'll be seeing more uh, videos on the Solo Stove cooking as we go, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you don't wanna miss um, how to use their uh, Solo Stove cooking hub and system, I've got many videos coming up using their cast iron wok, their cast iron grill grate, cooking some steaks and some other, maybe some chicken wings in the future. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos in the future. And if you thought today's video was helpful, fun to watch, and a few things that you learned along the way, then I would love your support. And most importantly, would love to hear from you and put in the comments below what you thought of the cook. Otherwise, from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time.